I got a pre-loved Boss 4 backpack from the Louis Vuitton Addicteds group on Facebook from Hello. Adifi. Yes! Say yes! 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 <laughs> Honey, can I show it? Anyways, now that my special guest has left, let me show you. This is the box that it came in. It is bubble wrapped. Oh my god, how cute. Ooh, there's a note! Really nicely. Oh my god. God. I'm literally, literally so dead. It is so much cuter in person. It looks like this. No smell. No. I appreciate that a lot, actually. No. I haven't done any LV reviews, but I was trying to look for more on this, but there weren't as many as like Push Up Matisse and the Speedy that I have. So I might do another one. So cute! In addition to my unboxing, I wanted to do a first impression and a kind of what's in my bag because I'm a college student, but I'm also a mom. So um, on weekdays, I want to pack this bag for school stuff, like Monday through Thursday, because I have Friday off. And then from Friday to the weekend, that's when I go out with Kaden and I do like family stuff. So I also have it packed for that. So I think that's like nice for people to see what fits in this bag because I was looking and I couldn't really find like stuff I would use for it. So Friday. I wanted to see, yeah. Here it is again, all packed and it's um a substantial weight. Like when I compare it to my Pochette Matisse fully packed, it's a little heavier, but I can justify that because it has the two straps and I know that it won't hurt. And I actually might take out stuff as I go along if it gets too heavy because I have a really big issue when bags are too heavy. Like I cannot handle it. So all my bags are really small. This is my biggest um, bag to date. So I'm gonna see how it goes. I really hope it works out though because I really like the look of it. First, in this pocket, if you open it, I put my um, YSL key pouch. I really like this. Um, I just put my Minnie Mouse keychain from Disneyland when I went with my best friends and my car fob. And I have the cutest little thing here. Isn't this like the cutest card? Uh, we got it at Chuck E. Cheese. We went to Disneyland in July. This is a room key with Kaden's name on it, even though he, he wasn't gonna use the room key, but they thought that would be a nice, you know, little thing for us to keep. So I keep that in here and I have my driver's license. And then sometimes I put my debit in here, just if I'm running out. And then for um, this little pocket, I put, I'm gonna get a case though because I feel really wary. Um, I just have a pen and a pencil for class. I actually have to put an eraser in here, but I forgot. If you open, if you open this, I have earphones, and then I have my portable charger from Amazon. This pocket, the side pocket, I wanted to keep my phone. I have an iPhone 6 Plus and it fits really well. And then I have my Adele wallet that I really oh. like. If that's my wallpaper, it's my favorite wallpaper ever. It's so cute. We went to um, California Academy of Science for Kaden's birthday weekend. It was so fun. For the main portion of the bag, like the bucket, I just found a way, if you Google like how to tie petite no way, I found one that showed you like this kind of knot. I don't know what it's called, but if you just... If you just pull it out on one side, you can just like really easily open it. Super easy, opened. And then if you just pull it back, I'll link the video because I don't want to take credit for what she did. Now, Kaden is drilling stuff, so that's that noise. Let me show you my placement. I have the things like stacked up vertically. So first I have my put I realized that I seem Louis Vuitton crazy, but that's slightly because I am. They make like the best products in my, like the best handbag products in my opinion, so I always try to buy it. Like when I bought the YSL keychain, there's chipping, so I knew that I shouldn't have strayed, but I did because I really like the YSL one. Excuse me. <clears throat> but um, the corners chipped, and I know like the ombre clay would have never chipped on me, and they're the same price, so. I do feel a little, you know, like, why did I do that? But I did. So anyways, in here, 
I fit a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna add stuff probably because I'm crazy. So I have two concealers. I don't know why, one's lighter. I have the Cover FX Cream Concealer and then I have the Naked Skin Concealer in medium light. It's a Travelo for my flower bomb. That's my signature scent. I have an EOS chapstick I have never used. I really like this. I highly recommend this Dinoplat Smart Blotting Powder. I really like it. It's like, it's so cute. It has like a little puff that sticks to the paper and then a really good mirror. I have a little antibacterial hand gel from Bath & Body Works. Uh, I have a uh, pepper spray because I go to college and sometimes things get sketchy, especially when I stray away from San Jose State. And okay, now he's watching videos, so I, ha I can do nothing. And then I have a Kat Von D Eye Ink Liner in Trooper, a Bite Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Tort. This is like one of my everyday colors. What else? What else? I have a mini water bottle for me and Kaden. Or just when we're out. I have this reusable shopping bag because I live in California. And I have two granola bars because I get really hungry in class. I also have a Rebecca Minkoff pouch for my like medical. I don't say medical, but like I have to keep my medicine and eye stuff in here. I have my soul box. I have Advil, a little Advil, you get this at Target. Some Minion Band-Aids for Kaden. Preservative-free lubricant eye drops. They come in like these things. I highly recommend these over the other ones. I find that they like moisten your eye better. And then finally, I got this pouch on Amazon. Um, it's called a wet bag, I think. Because sometimes I bring Kaden like drinks and chocolate milk and stuff and I really don't want it to explode in my bag. And this is supposed to be waterproof. Yeah, it has a waterproof lining. I have wipes. So you have a kid, you need wipes. And I'm trying to potty train him. It's not going well, but by now he's in pull-ups. And then I have an extra change of clothes. Some leggings. I love these leggings. And just a white tish long sleeve because it's becoming fall and winter. And then his snack is pops because we we're running out of snacks and I haven't gotten to the grocery store in a long time. And then that's like my weekend mom bag and I wanna show you my, like if I were to pack my school bag because I know some people wanna use this for school so I wanna show that too. Okay, so I repacked my bag for school and I wanted to show you what it would look like if a laptop was in there, a 13 inch MacBook and it does fit but I have a 2011 one, I believe, and those are really bulky. It would look like this, like the top wouldn't go in, and I don't like that look, so um, I don't bring my laptop to school anymore just because um, it's so heavy. So I have switched to an iPad Air with a keyboard attached, so I'm gonna show you that, but um, it does fit, but it's really heavy, unless you have like the new one. See, it's much more doable with just the iPad. So let me show you the iPads in the back. Ow. That really hurts. I thought the iPad Air would fit into this, but I think um, only an iPad mini would fit in this back pocket. I was planning to put it here so I can get it out easily, but that doesn't work, but that's okay. So I have my iPad Air. This is what it looks like when the keyboard's on. So you just um, put it on and then you just put it on and then the keyboard automatically starts working. Next, I have my folder. And then I don't carry much in here. I just carry my Scantrons and green books and stuff, you know, for testing because it's midterm week. I won't carry that if it's not midterm week. And I don't know if I'm gonna carry this actually, but it's my mini five star notebook. And it has like papers and like notebook paper. And it has all my pochettes as earlier. It has my pochette accessoire old edition of the Rebecca Minkoff pouch if you want to see size comparison. I actually really like this pouch. I think it's about the same size as a mini pochette, but um, I might hold off on that now because I have this. The only con that I would think about this bag right now is that it might get, oh, a few cons. Um, I feel like this could get heavy if you overpack it, especially like for school and stuff. I'm not sure I would recommend it for that. Um, I will totally use it for school, but I'm also scared, you know, it's like um, a pricey bag, so 
I'm on the verge. Like, I don't know if I'm going to use it yet, but I think I will. So test it out because I love it so much. Cons, I feel like two straps. You can't beat that for comfort. I really needed it because I wanted to be hands-free when I'm out with my toddler and, you know, backpack for school. It just, like, made sense in my life to get a backpack. And I debated... Um, I'm going to hold it like a baby. I debated between the Bosphore and the Montsori and the Palm Springs backpack, but I chose this. I chose this because of all the pockets. Because the Montserrat, it, it only had one little pocket here and I don't even think that would have fit my phone. So that was a no-no for me. Like I needed something, because sometimes I pay. Let me show you. I bought it so I could do this. Like when I'm paying in line, that's all I wanted. Um, I need things that work for me because sometimes when I'm a kid and he runs off and I can't be fussing in here to get my wallet while my toddler is running away from me. So. This just seemed like the best option that I could do. I need some zippers in my life. And then this is how, this is how it looks like, oh, we're like, it's so casual, you know? And I'm usually not into like big backpacks, but um, I think I could work with this. I'm scared that these might slip, but right now they're really comfortable and I have a lot of stuff in it so it's not too heavy at all. Overall, I think I'm really happy with my purchase so far. Um, I'm not sure if I'll update this, but uh, I think I'm gonna keep it forever and uh, I hope to like pass it down, maybe to even Caden one day, cause it is a men's backpack. So, oh, actually I never thought about that because um, I have like other purses and um, if I don't have another child, I think I think about these things. Like, I don't know why. Um, like I thought I'd pass this down to like my girl cousins that I love and stuff but I didn't have anything to pass down to him unless he wanted these, of course, but um, I think this is a good thing to pass down to him. I'm actually really excited now that I have something to pass down to my son. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed my review, what's in my bag, first impression, uh, unboxing. I know it's a lot, but um, this is my first video that's not a vlog, and I don't even know how I'm gonna post this, but um, yeah, really like this. Yes! I got to go out with you, kid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the least successful unboxing ever. No doubt left by my son. No doubt. My dad's calling. Hold on, guys. Hello? And then I have, um... I forgot what this is called. My hands are, like, shaky because I had a caramel macchiato today. And I haven't eaten yet, so the coffee is like getting to me. So, like, I'm not nervous. My hands are just like, they're out of control right now. So, 